complicated because like I don't want to do uh, online dating apps, right? Because I feel like people on those apps are on there because they want to meet other people. <laughs> and I don't really want to meet people who want to meet other people, right? I want to meet people who don't want to meet other people. Then they meet me who also doesn't want to meet other people. Then we fall in love the old fashioned way, you know, totally by accident. We're both least expecting it. We both have been too hurt to possibly love again, but we fall in love despite ourselves. Then we get married, then we have three kids, then we get a divorce and live happily ever after. <laughs> That's the kind of real love I want. I did meet a guy in real life once. Um, it was kind of a funny story because I went to the bookstore and I saw one of these books, like these self-help books, and it was called The Struggle is Real. <laughs> right? And on the cover was this hot guy like with like cool tattoos and like, you know, cool horn rimmed glasses and I was like, "Really? The struggle is real for that guy?" Like what did he have to struggle with? Like did they put 2% in his oat milk latte once? Like did his bird scooter run out of battery? Like I just I don't understand what this guy ever struggled with. So I made fun of it. I was like with a friend and I was kind of roasting it for a while. And then I went and did some shows in Minnesota. And after one of my shows, this guy came up to me after, and he was kind of cute, and he was like, hey, you know, do you want to get a drink? You were really funny. And I was like, sure. So we got a drink, and we had a really good time. And then we got excited, and we friended each other on all the social media platforms. And I saw that it was the struggle is real guy. I was like, what? This is crazy. So. The, then, like, over a course of a couple weeks, we were flirting, you know, and he, he was, like, liking my posts on Twitter, and he was, like, watching my Instagram stories and, like, texting me, and, like, we were doing all the different things, right? It was like, whoa, we really like each other. And we were going to meet up and everything. But then over some time, he kind of stopped texting me as much, but he was still, like, liking my tweets and watching my stories. And then he stopped tweeting altogether and stop texting but he was still watching my story so I was like okay we're still together you know <laughs> but then he just stopped all of it just cold turkey and I was like well that's kind of weird right like I thought we had something we had chemistry so then I did a little research um, it's called research when you know the person stalking is if you don't know them so I did some research and I found out he was on a podcast and on this podcast he said that some girl slid into his DMs and I was like, well, I didn't slide into his DMs, so that wasn't me. So I texted him, I was like, you know, you could have told me you met somebody, you know, it's cool, it's fine, we only had a drink, but you know, you could have told me and he's got to meet anyone, it's fire, you know, so whatever. And <laughs> <laughs> so then I unfollowed him, I unfriended him, you know, I, I stopped texting and then he unfollowed me and unfriended me and I was like, well, that's very immature, you know. <laughs> And then I was like, I felt so hurt, right? Because I was like, I feel really rejected and I don't understand why. So I have to learn something from this, right? Because I only had one drink with this guy. So I don't understand why I feel so upset about it. Um, it really seems a little un unfounded. So I thought about it and I was like, you know, I realize the two things I learned from this experience are one is if you do get to meet someone in real life, don't friend each other on all the social media platforms, right? Because it's just a way to be rejected on all the social media platforms. Like, it's like so many different ways to be rejected. You're like rejected on Twitter, rejected on Instagram, rejected, rejected, rejected. So I was like, I'm never doing that again, right? If I meet someone, I'm just gonna be like, we are not social media friends. It's never happening. And the other takeaway was, I was like, you can, actually judge a guy by his book cover. <laughs> <laughs>